V from Casually Fragrant. Today I'll be doing my first haul and review of Solstice Scents. This is a American company that I purchased these perfumes from. Um, they have a really large following and I heard a lot about them on Fragrantica actually, which got me to get interested in trying out some of their scents. So the first one that I picked up was Snowmint Mallow. Um, Snowmint Mallow is from their winter collection. It is a peppermint, a vanilla cake, sugar cookies, coconut, marshmallow cream. It is a strong and powerful smell. It's got good projection and it is so edible and creamy and absolutely delicious. I get a white chocolate vibe from this as well with marshmallows and I mean I know this is like marketed as a winter scent, but I think this would be perfect for fall, winter, and even like sitting by a campfire smelling like marshmallows. Like who doesn't want to smell like that? Um, the peppermint I find is more in just the opening. Um, and then the dry down is that creamy, you know, cake marshmallow scent. And it's a definitely a gourmand and um, I absolutely love it really glad to have this in my collection. Um, the second one that I heard a lot about and I was excited to pick up is the Violet Mallow. Uh, as you can tell, I've been on a marshmallow cake lately. Uh, this is a gourmand floral. It's got marshmallow cream, violet flowers, vanilla bean, white musk. It's soft, creamy violet marshmallows. If you like violets and like creamy sweet scents you will love this. I find a lot of times with violet perfumes you get either like really fresh kind of like in your face green violets with like almost like a you can taste the dirt and then you sometimes get very powdery violets or screechy violets and there's so many different ways you can do violet but I don't have too many like I haven't really experienced kind of a creamy violet, which this Solstice Scents does perfectly. Um, if you're a violet lover, like the Violet Note lover, definitely pick up this scent. Um, the last kind of uh, mini size, so they do uh, have larger size perfumes at this store. However, they don't ship those to Canada. So I believe for Canadians, uh, we can only get this size. But you know, that's perfect for me because I rarely go through an entire bottle and I really like getting like such nice, um, uh, kind of like I don't want to call them sample sizes because they're bigger than samples they're you know like kind of like a travel size almost so I really like getting a size like this and obviously easy for travel as well and so the third one I received I picked up was uh, and I should mention I paid for all of this myself um, I'm not getting anything for this video <laughs> um, was a nightgown it's vanilla white chocolate tuberose and tear flower it's more floral with a little bit of gourmand it's soft and feminine I see this perfect as date night for romantic evenings bedtime I mean it is called a nightgown um, it is still delicious it's a great scent it doesn't project as much as for instance the snow mint mallow but I'm really glad to have this in my collection and I love trying out white chocolate and I think this is done really well in this the sample that they did so kindly send you can actually um, they do let you pick out one sample um, with each of your orders uh, and so the one sample that I picked out that was uh, free was um, Foxcroft, Foxcroft Fairgrounds. So this has notes of cotton candy, cream soda, vanilla, taffy, funnel cake, powdered sugar, crisp fall air, wood smoke, and incense. It's a gourmand incense fragrance. Um, the first time I tried this, like right away, it was like almost too woodsy on me, like too much kind of smoke. But uh, the second time and third time I tried it, I was really starting to enjoy it a lot more. It's got uh, the dry downs, definitely. I kind of get that vanilla taffy scent to it. I personally don't get much cotton candy myself from this. Um, 
you know, when testing it out, but I haven't tested this one out as much as I have the other ones, so I'm looking forward to testing it out. But overall, all the, you know, perfumes are really good quality. The customer service is absolutely wonderful. I emailed them with a question and they answered right away within that. I believe it was actually within 12 hours, which is really impressive for any business to do. Um, so I only have, you know, positives to stay on that end. And um, I do like getting kind of these postcards with um, having a personalized touch um, to them. So that is my first Solstice Sense haul. Uh, let me know if you have any favorites from Solstice Sense and what they are down below. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe.